Hello and welcome once again to Top Dog TV's Short Sport Shorts. Today's short story is all about Frank Worthington's failed move to Liverpool, or how sex and football do not always mix. Worthington was an incredibly talented English forward of the 1970s with an obsession with Elvis Presley. He was incredibly flamboyant on and off the pitch. For those that have seen the old St Trinian's movies, think of Flash Harry and then you'll have a good idea of how Worthington looked in his heyday. At the start of the 70s, Worthington was playing for Huddersfield Town, then in Division 2, what is now known as the Championship. Worthington banged in the goals to lift the Terriers into the top flight, though that was not all he was banging. Worthington performed so well in the top flight that England manager Sir Alf Ramsey called him up to the England Under-23 squad. In those days, it actually meant something to get called up by England at any level. Unlike today where you just have to be English and playing in the top flight, in those days you had to be a good player to get anywhere near an England squad. Unfortunately for Worthington, his flamboyant dress sense did not impress the World Cup winning manager at all. One man who had been impressed by his performances that season was the legendary Liverpool manager, Bill Shankly. When Worthington's brilliance was not enough on its own to keep Huddersfield in the top flight, he handed in a transfer request. Shanks was quick to pounce and soon he had agreed a £150,000 fee with the Yorkshire club. If he had been playing nowadays, that £150,000 would have been his weekly wage, not his transfer fee. Worthington jumped at the chance to join Liverpool and soon found himself in a car with Shankly travelling to take his medical. As the car drove past the Goodison Park ground of local rivals Everton, Shanks told him to take no notice of that laddie. There's only two teams in Liverpool, Liverpool and Liverpool Reserves. All was going well until the medical which threw up a big issue. The player's blood pressure was high, too high. Worthington claimed it must have been stress due to his dad dying recently and Shanks believed him. Shanks gave him some money and sent him off to have some R&R with a nice relaxing holiday in the sun. The medical was to be retaken when he returned from his holiday. Worthington was not being entirely honest about the cause of his high blood pressure though. His lifestyle was wild and full of, in his own words, booze and birds. It was his excessive partying and sexual excesses that had raised his blood pressure, amongst other things. While Shankly had envisaged Worthington going on a nice relaxing beachside holiday to, to lays by the pool, what he actually did was go on a wild trip to Mallorca with fellow Hellraiser George Best. Worthington was dating the then Miss Great Britain, but it didn't stop him attempting to join the Mile High Club, spending the entire flight chatting up some woman next to him. The rest of the holiday passed by in a series of drunken binges and sexual escapades, including a threesome with a Swedish mother and daughter. With rest being virtually non-existent and relaxation coming out of a bottle, it is no surprise that Worthington failed the medical again when he returned. In fact, the medical showed up an even bigger problem with his blood pressure than he'd had before he went away on holiday. Shankly cancelled the move and Worthington went off and ended up joining Leicester City instead. He never made the impact his talents deserved with a career that was more famous for his wild ways. Despite many of his contemporaries claiming that Worthington was the best player of his generation, he failed to even reach double figures of England caps due to his excesses. He later revealed all about his off-field antics in his autobiography, One Hump or Two. Despite never making the impact he should have, Worthington always said he had only one regret in his entire life, and that was failing to make the move to Liverpool happen. To this day, he maintains that Shankly would have been the man to tame him and make him into a much better player. That's all for this edition of Top Dog TV's Short Sport Shorts. Thank you for listening.